السلام عليكم كتسمعوني هاي ويكم باك ام فاينلي انا ام سو هابي انا فرحانه بزاف بيكوز ام اوريدي باك اند ام فيلين ماتش بيتر And thank you for all of your sweet words. I already um, got them and I uh, received the messages. So thank you very much for all your sweet words. Salam Sam, Kidai Lavase. I don't know if I'm uh, going to read this correctly. Dimbil Kali? I would say Kali. I would just like it's easier for me. Lavase <laughs> Dikom. كي دايرين شنو كتعاودو وات ار يو لايك واتساب ويد يو الحمد لله دو يو هاف يور درينكس ويد يو دو يو اول هاف يور درينك ويد يو از لايك كوفي توك سو هافين ا درينك از نوت ا ماست با از لايك شير لا لا بيت اهلا اهلا مروك المان لاباس عليك اش كتعاود غبرت عليكم كان يو هير مي ويل جايز دو يو هير مي ويل كتسمعوني مزيان شويه صافا شويه <تصفيق> ربينا عليا باقا مريضه ولكن Yeah. Shui, alhamdulillah. I'm feeling better. Thank you. <laughs> Zian, <laughs> I'm glad that you hear me well. Yeah, I'm just like she came because sometimes the Wi-Fi getting slow. No, but alhamdulillah, shukran bizaaf. <laughs> yes. Tell me, Yoli. We said that Diana is like our teacher, and you are like students. Tell me, tell me, Yoli. Tell me, Yoli. Okay, who is with us? Like, who is with us? Who is with us? Mzian Dun, Dun Peter. What is your name, Peter? I saw you first time in comments. I remember my students. <laughs> Welcome for all the new students. Uh, for don't for those who are new with us. Uh, Welcome. Salam Ali, Pali, Ali, Pali. I love that. I always love seeing your uh, name. Whenever I see like Ali, Pali, like I just I love it. So for those who are new with us, uh, this is like a um, live series, it's very relaxed, really chill. We are doing lessons, different lessons, and but they are like connected. So for like absolute beginners, try to watch the first videos. If you don't know how to pronounce the consonants you don't, that you don't have as an English speaker, um, maybe you should uh, like watch the first one because it's going to help you to understand more because Whenever like I give like a lesson, I assume that you already saw the one that's before because it's like connected. Lesson one, two, three, four, ten. Now that we are in thirteen, so it's like connected. And uh, just make sure to watch like to have like an idea, uh, so that you I try my best to take it slow with repetition, with sentences, and um, you would see it's not something like very difficult. We try. We use sentences more than one, twice, three times, three are comfortable with. Questions are welcomed. Like if you have any question right now, you can ask me. And the question is there in the beginning or the end of the lesson, also in the middle of the lesson, if it's, con it's about like the lesson, so that we are not going to get like very confused. Okay? So yeah, uh, do you have like, uh, any questions concerning the last lessons? Did you revise? I know I've been uh, away for a while 
And you all know I was sick a little bit. That's advice. Did you review the lessons? Did you have any problem or any question that you want to ask me? By the way, I changed the name uh, of like learning Deja with Katie to learning Deja with Kautar because this is my learning name and everyone is getting confused. Are you Moroccan? Uh, because the word Katie and Katie is a name that all my friends have been calling me Katie probably for more than 10 years since I was in high school. And um, a teacher called me Katie. And uh, all my friends start, start calling me Katie, and I like this, and I kept it. But I changed it for people not to get confused. Christian, salamu alaikum. La basilik, kuchim zian. Okay, so today, listen, if you have any questions, please comment it, and I will reply to it. And today we're going to talk uh, according to the last video that I posted is about in the cafe, full kahwa. Full kahwa. Alhamdulillah. Saba, uh, alhamdulillah. Maybe no bean in between. Yes, alhamdulillah, saba, alhamdulillah. So, yes, I said we're we going to talk about how to order in the coffee. And uh, if you all know it, about the culture, Moroccan culture is a tea culture. And everyone went to Morocco, they know that we drink a lot of tea and mostly it's sweet tea, like it's very sweet tea with mint. And it, so um, if you never went to Morocco and you're just thinking about going there, so tea in Morocco is like, this is so good. And uh, also, um, Salam Shivam. <laughs> you're not sleepy yet <laughs> okay so i said uh tea is incredibly good and also try nos nos i'm going to write it nos nos coffee is uh, like half milk half coffee and everyone tastes it like it it tastes so good so you can try that but we're going to take it step by step Hi, how are you? Guys, if you in any point on the video you couldn't hear me or it was frozen or anything, please let me know. Because for me, I don't know. I just like, I see myself recording and that's it. And I see myself moving. So, yeah. Okay. So, if you have any questions, please ask me. And then... Uh, we're going to start with the vocabularies, and after that, we're going to build with it sentences, and then we're going to do dialogue, and we're going to practice it. And you have to practice with me so that you can um, you can like uh, pr practice the pronunciation and sentences. Are you feeling better? Let me see you. Yes, certainly. Give me like a uh, yes. Yes. Um, yes, I'm feeling a little better. I uh, still don't feel like fully myself, but I like I do can teach now, and I don't like to stay, uh, you know, uh, doing nothing for very long time. It's like very hard for me, and uh, I actually wanted like to come back very soon as soon as I can, even though the, the doctor told me like to take rest for as long as I can, but I still can do that. Like it's, I can take it as more that long than that. Nus is half, yes. Uh, nus is half. So when we say nus, nus, it means half milk and half coffee. If we have like a milk and half coffee. If we have like a cup, for example, it's going to be like a half coffee, a half milk. Of course, it's going to be mixed, but it tastes good. The meaning of nus nus is that like, it's going to be like a half coffee, a half milk. Of course, it's going to be mixed, but the meaning of nus nus is like half coffee, half um, half milk. It's not nsa, it's nus. Nus. Nsa is the verb to forget. 
So we don't have actually a lot of vowels in uh, Moroccan, and by now you would notice that. So any extra vowel, it changed the meaning because already we don't have as much vowels. So any alert change, it changed the meaning. Salam Carlos, It doesn't have to be espresso. It can be uh, just normal coffee. The um, you know, any light coffee with the same amount of milk. Because we make that at home also, like for guests and for ourselves. And uh, we can do any certain coffee, any certain black coffee, and we're going to make the equal uh, amount of milk with it. And this is what we're going to uh, do today. We're going to talk about different coffees, how they are made, what their name, and... Um, some some names are the same. For example, cappuccino is uh, maybe in difference in uh, like uh, pronunciation, but it's the same. Cappuccino as uh, coffee with milk with a little cream or like steamed milk. It's like steamed milk. So um, for example, espresso is called espresso, but espresso in most of co coffees is called normal. Normal. It's not like the normal coffee for us, it's the strong coffee. Espresso is the strong coffee, is the normal. So it's like, writing is like in English, normal. And it's called normal. Atini normal. Kahwa, normal. And coffee is called kahwa. For people who are like new with us and you don't know the numbers, what they mean, this is number nine, is the qah sound is same as like Q, but it's like it's very further in the back. It's like a true sound, it's a sound. Make sure to watch my old videos on how to pronounce the sounds that you don't have as English speaker or any other language speaker, okay? It's kahwa, kahwa. This is H, kahwa. And by the way, kahwa, is same as the cafe. So the cafe as a place is same as the coffee as a drink. Okay? The boot called kahwa. Ana gada al kahwa. I'm going to the coffee. Ana gada al kahwa. It means I'm going to the coffee. Brit kahwa. I want coffee. So if you notice, as a uh, you know, the drink. Of course, I have my coffee over here. So today I have iced coffee. And by the way, we not all coffees in Morocco have iced coffee. We don't make it. It's not a part of culture. We all, always drink hot coffees. But I put like, um, it's like, um, uh, I made coffee at home and I put uh, the, the, the iced uh, coffee. Actually, I have like, um, these tops and I pour coffee in it and I made it in the refrigerator to like it's strong and I make my own iced coffee my way. I don't put milk on it because I don't like it. Uh, and then so, Moroccan man, did you forget your coffee? <laughs> This is what I was like. Yeah. Yes, Bildia is like traditional coffee uh, for dar as, at home. Yes, can saub. Mostly can saub al kahwa for dar. It means like I make coffee at home. Can saub al kahwa for dar. I make coffee at home. Can saub. Can saub. Yes, can saub is I make. Can saib, can saib or can saub good. Okay, so let's back to the coffees. So espresso is the same. Uh, cappuccino is the same. Uh, we don't have, uh, or restaurants sometimes we don't have mocha. Uh, some of them do have. We don't have 
iced coffee. A lot of people go to McDonald's or they go to certain cafes and they ask for iced coffee, like Raleigh, where you would find it. And um, yes, so I'm sorry, like sometimes I'm like just like giving that a look at the comments section to see if there is any question. <laughs> yes, uh, so normal is espresso. Normal is espresso. So either way, if you told him apini, which means give me, normal. It's going to freeze. Okay, I sorry, X. Okay, try to repeat after me. A penny is give me. A penny. A penny. So is that sound? Try to notice as I'm, as I'm pronouncing it. A penny. A penny. Kahua normal. A penny. Kahua normal. A penny. A penny. Give me. And try to emphasize the first part. A a a a penny. أعطيني قهوة نورمال، أوكي؟ okay? أعطيني إسبريسو، أعطيني قهوة نص نص، أو جس نص نص هاف هاف، you would understand you talking about coffee half half، أوكي؟ okay? أعطيني نص نص، أعطيني نص نص. Yes. Mm. Uh, Fiora, do you really find it hard to learn? It just like takes like step by step, like yeah, it's just like slowly you would learn, you'd find it uh, enjoyable with time. Okay, so yes, so we have uh, nos nos. If you want to say like hot milk, Yes, uh, uh, I, I wouldn't, so for example, we use the, the definite article, if, um, um, so example, if I said kahwa normal, so already we are specific, we already know which coffee, kahwa normal, I don't need the definite article because uh, we already said normal. So if I say this in general, it's going to be which coffee? If he know my usual, so for example, I'm always like taking like black coffee or like espresso, I will tell him just أعطيني القهوة, أعطيني القهوة. Yes, so Moroccan man, he already said it. So for example, if you're going to say which coffee, you don't need the definite article because you already said which one. But if I said أعطيني القهوة, like it's mean give me the coffee, the coffee. So either he does know which coffee he's, we're talking about and uh, or what I'm talking about, or um, he would ask you in a kahwa, which one, like because there is a lot of coffees. So you see what I mean? So when I talk in general, when I say like, uh, I have the coffee, I have the coffee, I know which, I'm, which coffee I'm talking about. Kehla, Kehla. Kehla is black. Can you see Ali? Of course, I remember you. Salam. <laughs> I do remember you, yes. Kehla. Mm -hmm. What is akla? Is kahla you mean black? Aka, aka. We don't have a word. Akla, okla. <laughs> I'm trying to guess what you mean. <laughs> yes, kahla. Kahwa uh, kahla. By the way, if you ever go into Morocco and if you're going to visit or you've been ghosted, like um, it's been like a guest, like uh, in a Moroccan house. 
some of them, not all of them, they put sugar in coffee when they boil this, when they do an, um, like a traditional coffee at home. So if you don't drink, if you don't uh, like uh, drink coffee with the sugar, make sure to tell them like kahwa, khla, blas, sugar. Make sure to tell them like kahwa, khla, blas, kar, without sugar, bla, sugar. Because sometimes, and I don't think that sometimes we boil the coffee with sugar. So make so sure to say that. Uh, Aline, you didn't really miss a lot of classes because I, I was sick also so and everything. Uh, so it's like my first lesson in a while. Maybe Atla, Ukla. Ukla. Even for like, this is why I say like, Ukla is mean like um, meal or. Yes, meal meal. Ukla. Okay, so yes, what I was talking about, yes. Bla, bla, bla. About yes, blah 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 blah. So, notice, uh, so actually, that is a, is a language that you have to open your mouth when you're talking. This is why you don't hear words correctly. And uh, when I'm, for example, I say blah, notice the best sound, like I really press on my lips, blah, 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 scar, blah, scar, r, r. So you notice we really need to open our mouth and this is how you're going to get the correct pronunciation. Because English, uh, most of people over here, they speak English. And English is like a language that you have all the voice, all, all the sounds are actually just like in, in like in your teeth and your uh, tongue. So you don't have to do any further movements. For us, Arabic in general is a language that has like a true sounds. We have like front sounds. We have like sounds that are in the middle. So we have to move back and forth with our tongue. And people, when they just try to pronounce the Asia words without really opening their mouth, this is how you don't say things correctly and people don't understand you. So when you speak words, take your time. Even if you speak fast, open your mouth. Bless car. Bless car. If you notice car, car. It's like saying car. So you really open your mouth. Bless car. Um, we say kahwa bli grasso, bli grasso. But actually most people say iced coffee, iced coffee and they would say no because we call it actually iced coffee. Uh, if you sit, <clears throat> sorry. Okay, yes. Yes, uh, um, well, actually we, we don't use mostly like Garçon, Garçon and the Serbe, Serbe and Garçon, we use it like just um, to, when we talk about them, what she Garçon, did you saw like uh, the waiter and uh, we mostly like we call him Puya, which means brother, it's like a girl. Which is that if a which is uh, and I, I always say Khuya is very polite and I would say for example Khuya Afat Khuya Afat mean brother please uh Atini Wahad normal Wahad normal Wahad is like one normal is like a normal it's mean like one cup and it had Zwin, had Zwin, Zwin, and the had Zwin. You have a uh, good luck. You have like a good luck. This is what you mean. 
Okay, so let's back to the coffees. Uh, yes. So who asked me about iced coffee? We still say iced coffee. It's like when we say espresso and cappuccino. Uh, it's same or coffee cream. We see coffee cream is the same. It's just instead of saying cream, we see cream, coffee cream. Okay, this is I think the different coffees that we have. And also some people like uh, to say like kahwa, like, like strong coffee or weak coffee, like um, it's not strong one. We have a names for that. For example, like strong coffee is kahwa, asha. Kahwa, kahwa, kasha, kasha. And this is why I tell you, like, we use in, like, our mouth, like, we really open it. Try to notice. Kahwa, kahwa, I open my mouth. Kahwa, kasha, kasha. Kahwa, kasha. Breathe, kahwa, kasha, kasha. You notice, it's like, really, you have, like, to open your mouth to like uh, pronounce the words correctly. Kahua, kasha. So the opposite, like light coffee, is kahua. Fifa. Fifa is mean light. Kahua, fifa. Kahua, fifa. Kahua, kahua. Khfifa, khfifa, khfifa. Is kh sound again? Is kh 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 khfifa, khfifa. Okay. So now I'm going to say them again, but say them after me. First time, say them after me. Second time, say them as the same time as I'm saying them, so that you can get the same speed and you can see if you're going to pronounce them as same as I do. Okay. So let's start with. The first one is espresso is same. Espresso, espresso, cappuccino, 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 café crème, café crème, café crème, nos nos, nos nos. It's like half, half coffee, half big, half uh, coffee. Atini nus nus. Give me nus nus. Atini nus nus. Atini nus nus afek. Try with the speed. Atini nus nus afek. Give me half, half, please. Okay. Atini nus nus afek. Atini nus nus afek. Okay. You good with this one? Okay. Normal, remember, normal is espresso. Normal is the strong one. Atini is give me. Atini. But we don't always say atini. Sometimes we say I want. Like, because he would say what you want. He would say, like, I want. So you would say, brit. 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 B, b. You notice with the b and me, we always, like, emphasize them. B, brit. 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 Notice again, when I say B, and when we go to re is read, breathe, 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 nosness, breathe, nosness, breathe, normal, breathe, normal. Okay, breathe, kahwa, blast car without sugar, blast car, blast car. If you wanted to see which sugar is bits car, bits car. This car is with sugar. This car, this car, blocks car. This car, blocks car. Okay? Are you practicing with me? So the waiter is called, his name is depending on the So the waiter is called, his name is depending on the region. So some Cities, they call him Garçon, Garçon. And I think it's from French. Uh, if Christian here, correct me if I'm wrong. I think Garçon is a French word. Garçon or Serbei, Serbei. Either way, it depending on the region. But actually, when we are in the coffee, we normally don't say 
like uh, survey, survey or garrison, and we call him that. We might ask about where is the survey, fin survey or fin garrison. But if I wanted to call him, I would say Khuya, just like brother. And uh, yeah, we just like we don't. So yeah, we there say Khuya. If it's waitress, I would say Khti, like a sister. Okay. So let's continue with the practice. How to stay strong coffee is Qahwa Qasha. Qahwa Qasha. Notice, like I really opened my mouth. Qahwa Qasha. 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 Qahwa Qasha. Okay? We know it with our, with our hands because actually we use a lot of movements, either face movements, Hand movements, as you see, I'm speaking in English, still I'm using my hands because we speak with our hands as well. Okay? Kahwa kasha. To say like a light coffee is kahwa khfifa. Kahwa khfifa. Kahwa khfifa. Khfifa. Athak atini shi kahwa khfifa. Kahwa khfifa. Okay? The word with athak, please. Is either we say it in the beginning or we say it in the end, that's okay. You can say or you can start with the beginning and say like this in the beginning. And for people who are asking me, it sounds for it sounds for you like uh, so direct and it sounds like a little bit close to say to someone, give me. Uh, instead of saying, would you give me? Would you, could you do that? Could you do this? Because we don't have them, actually. We don't have model verbs. So instead, we just like nod, we smile, and we say affect. And I would use khuya. It's very polite to say brother. Khuya affect, atini wahad nusnus. Give me like a nusnus, like a glass of like a coffee nusnus. Okay? Atini espresso. Khuya affect, atini espresso. Khuya, khuya, wahad espresso affect. Okay? واحد القهوة عفك قهوة كحلة عفك Okay? So this is how we say it. So no worries in the coffees. They give you coffee with a separated uh, sugar. So it's already there is no sugar in it. If you want, you add it. If you don't, you just don't. Uh, yes, actually this is guys do that. <laughs> uh, when you learn the language, atani means give me. So, yes, easy uh, or easy. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correct. Yes, Sidi Muhammad, as Sidi Muhammad, because uh, when we don't we don't know the name of the waiter, so we either say Khoya brother because no, we don't know what's his name, or they call him Muhammad. Khoya Muhammad, like brother Muhammad, or a Sidi Muhammad, which means Muhammad Sir. Why? Because Muhammad is the name of messenger, and uh, you would never uh, go around with the name Muhammad. If you called anyone Muhammad, they wouldn't be upset because it's a name of the messenger of God, so everyone is happy to be called Muhammad. So when you don't know the name of waiter, and it's really polite, um, it's more than to use the specific word like Garswana Sirbay, it's like sounds a bit like heavy to say, this is how I can explain it. Uh, we see some guys, they say SD Muhammad. And mostly you would notice guys who say that, not girls. Because it's like a broader thing. Khoya Muhammad, SD Muhammad. You would hear it in a different accent depending on where you hear that. Okay. Uh, Salam Adnan. Okay, so yeah, this is what's uh, what's mean as Sidi Muhammad. It's mean like uh, like a city is like Sir Muhammad is like a name that we call anyone that we don't know his name. It could be like in the street, someone is walking and something is fall, and it will be like Muhammad. Muhammad. <laughs> Uh, yes, and yeah, it's like name we put it to anyone we don't know his name, basically. Yes, do you have any questions so far? Uh, 
Yes, SCD. Yes, it's a very polite wor word to say it before, like Muhammad instead of saying just Muhammad by itself. It's like a very polite to say. Okay, so when you go to the restaurant, uh, to restaurants or coffees, so the first thing that the wit like uh, uh, the waiter say, uh, if it was like in the sorry before you sit on the table, he would say. Marhaba, marhaba, or tfadlo, like come in. They might say both of them. Marhaba. That's mean welcome. So, marhaba, marhaba. And then he would add either a lala or a CD. Al mark, for example, marhaba, a lala. Marhaba, lala, marhaba, lala. And we have like this hand gesture, it's like coming in. Marhaba lalla. Mar is like, like this. You turn it and you would like go this way. Like coming in. Marhaba lalla. Marhaba lalla. Or just with the face. Marhaba lalla. Okay? And if it's like sir, if you want to say sir, it's like a CD. A CD. Then sir. Some people combine it. A CD. Marhaba a CD. Marhaba a CD. Marhaba a CD. If it's like a group of people, they would just say marhaba bikum. Marhaba bikum. Welcome. Plural. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to get to the response in a minute. Yeah, marhaba bikum. Marhaba bikum. We actually reply with rabbi khalik. I mean, um, I don't know how to uh, like say it in uh, in English, but it's mean like God save you, it's like God protect you. Yeah, it's like God protect you. Rabbi khalik. So this is the answer that we gave, like from Rabbi ikhalik, Rabbi khalik. Or you just say shukran, shukran. As I respond, Shukran, you just like Shukran Akhuya or Shukran Akhti, like thank you, uh, sister, thank you, bro. Shukran or Bikhlik Shukran, you can combine both of them. Okay, Marhaba Bikum, Marhaba Bikum. Yeah, I can say that in the beginning of the video, Marhaba Bikum, like we come here, Marhaba Bikum. And you can say shukran, rabbi khalik. And uh, yeah, this is the, the most common used answers. Yes. So this is if it was like in the door of the coffee and uh, he wanted to say something nice. Yes, rabbi khalik, use rabbi khalik. If you are invited to a family, yes, it's always okay because it's like it's use the name of God. <laughs> yes, so Moroccan man said, Marhaba bikum and Ustada, Shrabul Kahwa. So it's like, I mean, welcome all of you, uh, like to, to me, like having you, like uh, to the teacher having you to drink coffee. That's sure. If you ever came to Morocco, if you ever came to Rabat, yes, uh, I can invite you to a coffee. It's on me. Yes. Okay. So, yes, it is uh, easy. It is like very it's polite thing to say. And also, if someone um, said like a compliment to you, they said like, for example, Tizbina, you're beautiful, or Tizbin, or like a nice thing. You can also always answer with Rabbi Khalik or Shukran Rabbi Khalik. Yeah, it's like it never go wrong with this answer, Rabbi Khalik. Yes? If you have any question, please, guys, let me know. I have to charge my laptop. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, I can, for example, answer to Jivon, Rabbi Khalik. Drifa Bzef, like you're very kind or very nice. I can tell him, like, Rabbi Khalik. Shukran. Okay, so this is was with the coffees. Now let's get to the teas. So Moroccan tea is a green tea. tea. Uh, we use green tea mostly. Okay, we have like uh, the word for uh, the pot. Like a Moroccan pot is like very uh, unique. And the pot, like if you wanted like to the went to the coffee and you wanted like the, the pot, the whole pot, you would say the red. Brit, the red, the ate, like a pot of tea. Brit, ate. I want a pot of tea. Okay, so the red is a pot. Of course, ate is tea. And Brit is I want. Okay, you can smile. You don't have to use any extra words if you don't want to. You can just say Brit Bradete. Brit, Brit. Already the word Brit, I want, is like a, like a word that shows that you're smiling, yet you're happy. It's like take your time, say Brit, Brit, Brit. Okay, bread, bread, that a d is of is the short form of the l. So d is equal the l as equal of. Just to know the each uh, word in the sentence. Afak, please. Afak, khoya, please, brother. Bread, bread, that a. If you wanted to say like a cup of tea. Or a glass of tea, actually, we use like more like glass, anyways. <laughs> Zakaria, what do you mean? Can you see me, Isabella? Oh, yes, so easy. Your name is Isabella? <laughs> I didn't know that. A cup of tea is kes de te. Kes de te. Kes, kes. Notice the pronunciation of kes, like a cup or of a glass. So this is like, even if it's not a tea, cup of tea, is like a cup. It's like, a, for us, it's like a, a glass. It's kes, kes. And we drink, actually, most of us drink tea in a, like a, a specific and my friend, you Yes, welcome, Zakaria and uh, Isabel. You all welcome over here. <laughs> so, yes, cas, cas, date, cas, date, brit, cas, date. Huya effect, bris, brit, cas, date. If you wanted to use the a, the a, a cup or a glass. Sorry, I'm slow writer. Glass is wahed. Yes. A glass. So just to know, like, oh, sorry, wahed. Sorry, again, wahed is like A. Wahed is, is equal A, A, a glass of tea. Wahed. Kes detay. Wahed kes detay. So to say like a glass, like a hot tea, like still hot, of course they will give you a hot tea. It's never going to be cold. They make it right away. It always tastes good. It's always hot. So like a hot cup of tea. Kes kes. The ate spoon. Yes, we will get to the nana soon. <laughs> yeah, I'm just taking it step step uh, with uh, step by step with uh, for beginners. 
كاس ذات تاي سخون فور اكزامبل اعطيني جيف مي اعطيني كاس ذات تاي سخون لايك جيف مي لايك ا هات كاب اوف تي اعطيني كاس ذات تاي سخون ناو تراي تو ريبيت افتر مي اعطيني كاس ذات اتاي سخون سخون اعطيني اتاي سخون اعطيني كاس داتاي سخون اعطيني كاس داتاي سخون you can replace اتاي like tea with coffee and you can say اعطيني كاس دالقهوة سخون اعطيني كاس دالقهوة سخون اوكي okay. I hope that was helpful okay so yes وخاسيدي yes that could be the answer وخاسيدي وخلالة وخا is mean okay it's mean alright um yes yes that's good you can guys like uh, your answers what do you really want or you wish you want over here and we can reply to that yes actually um Alison uh, the is the short form of DL and we use it a lot in long sentences instead of saying in long sentences instead of saying the whole we just say the yes Yes. <laughs> yes, by the way, so uh, in some like good, like I mean like the good coffees, uh, they say some very polite uh, sentences. For example, when like you just like sit down and they say like, well, it's for the law, like coming in. And you sit down and they want to ask you, they give you like the money. By the way, the money is like the same. We so just take the put like the, the digging this article. The money. Afak fina huwa al money? Afak fin al money? Like where is the money? So when they give you that and they give you a minute to think of what you want, a polite question that instead of saying like, what do you want? What do you want? It sounds like very direct. We have not like the literary equivalent, but the sentence that it mean that. And it mean ash or snow had the khatam. And this is mean like what your heart desire. Snow had the khatam. Snow had the khatam or ash had the khatam. It means what's your heart desire? What's inside your heart you desire? Do you desire drinking coffee? Does your heart want juice? Juice? Does want your heart want a uh, banana? What do you want? It's like not direct. It's very polite. You are not going to use that. Only the waiter who's going to use it. Okay? Ashhab al khatar. It's like what your heart desire. Ashhab al khatar. So am I, I'm going to be the waitress today, so I'm going to ask you all, أشحب الخاطر. أشحب الخاطر. Now try to give me sentences of what you really want. Okay? So let's assume, Assalamu alaikum. No, burrito, shurbo. I'm waiting for the answers actually. Okay, no great to turbo. Marhbabikum, Marhbabika Lella, Marhbabika Sidi, Ash Hapu Hatter, Ash Ash Hapu Hatter, no great to turbo. All of you, if it was like just one person, I would say, Snubriti Tshra. You know, so it means like I already know which coffee do you drink. So this is the way you put the definite article. Uh, you're a stranger. You have to say, for example, Nos Nos, Normal, 
I don't know, cappuccino, cappuccino. <laughs> وخللا وخللا uh, Alison اعطيني بالرد بأتاي Yes, you just have to write one بالرد You wrote two yes. اعطيني بالرد بأتاي But still correct sentences I know like you mean like one cup of tea uh, Sorry, pot of tea uh -huh. وخللا مرحبا So Of course, uh, the replay of uh, the, the witcher is just like write down all the actually they are very smart. They're <laughs> so they will just say wa khalala or marhaba lala. Say wa khalala or marhaba lala. Okay, what about the others? Okay, I'm waiting for. Like, uh, okay, ma'am. Okay, who is? Yes, bravo, uh, Ali, uh, Carlos, and Shivam. The, the sentences are correct. The jumels ha, the jumels ha, bravo, alikum. Okay, Moroccan man, what you, what you, look at Shrub, um, Abi Fatah, I guess that's your name. So Kali and Sam, Don, uh, Christian, uh, Fiola. I think I remember all the names. Heck <laughs> is like, here is it. Uh, you guys, you hear me well? Aha, Mzian. Kachrab Tawa Nusnus. Mzian. You there, guys? Um, um, I don't know if like you guys hear me. Ah, oh, Mzian, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, <laughs> thank God. <laughs> yes, okay. What is the orders? I'm, I'm waiting for the answers. You don't want to practice? Alhamdulillah. Mzian. Bashir, Mzian. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, thank God. I'm glad that it's working uh, finally for the last, uh, last few uh, weeks. Better than the period where it was like very bad. Okay, so we did the coffees, different coffees, different tea. Um, Yes, it's like in the Wi-Fi. So you, is this, is this working now? I'm trying to see if, um, I just noticed that I have a lot of documents like opening. Oh, whoa. Yeah, I didn't notice that. Okay. Okay, is this working now? Yes. I just like I have not noticed that I have like a lot of um, pages open and I was downloading something. So I didn't notice that. This is why. Yeah, Carlos, صباح الخير. Yes. Um. Yes. 
Uh, yeah, I'm glad this is fixing now. Yes, Carlos. Uh, yeah, good night to you. I know like you have to wake up at least here for me. But yeah, I'm just going to finish some things and then I'm going to finish the live as well. Still have to work a little bit in sleep. So, uh, yes. Carlos. Okay, so we have like two women at Say Banana and everyone know that. And uh, we have another different teas, which is um, I've been like into this last two days. So it's ate with lemon rubina is like ate bluiza. Ate bluiza. If you are, if you love Louisa, you would like tea with Louisa. <laughs> it's like tastes good. Ate bluiza. Atay Belouiza. So we have Atay Banana. And also we have Atay Belouiza. You would find it in the menu. It's already writing now. And also we have like black tea, but it's like, it's not like hell. It has a name. It's called Atay Negro. Atay Negro. I'm going to write it down. Atay Negro is black tea. The same thing is practices in sentence. We say, for example, أعطيني أتاي بالويزا. أعطيني أتاي بالويزا. Try to say it after me. أعطيني أتاي أتاي ب ب لويزا. 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 Notice, I take my time in it. لويزا. لويزا. أتاي بالويزا. Good. Atay Bilwiza. To say black tea is Atini Atay Negro. Atay Negro. Atay Negro. Okay. Atay Negro. You good with that? Atay Bilwiza. Atay Negro. Yes. And Luisa is very, uh, is very, very good uh, plant to drink. It makes you relax, it makes you, it makes you like very calm, especially if you want to drink it to calm down or to drink it to sleep, it's like very good one. Say in tea in general is Mzian. Atay Mzian. It's like good. Atay Mzian. Okay, I'm going to give some like um like extra ones and then we're going to finish tomorrow because I have to wake up early. Okay, so for example, hope like just like like steam tea, like uh, the, like sorry, like a uh, boiled tea, a uh, boiled uh, milk is a taste hon, a taste hon. Uh, I'm sorry, makes on like I'm excessive to get like. Yes, it's good for a lot of things. So hot milk is clear. Hon. For example, if you have your kids with you, I want to give them milk, but not like the raw milk, like the dish milk. You want hot milk, you can say, Atini Hlibs Hon. Hlibs Hon. Hlib, Hlib, Schon. Schon. And sometimes uh, we, uh, you would find also like uh, milk with. Um, I don't know what it's called in English. Milk with chocolate, like powder, is hlib chocolate. And of course, it's like a hot uh, milk with chocolate. And it tastes so good. Zap, zip, zap, bni. Delicious, bni. Hlib de chocolate. Is milk with, um, is actually hot milk. Hot milk with, uh, Chocolate powder. Yes, called hot chocolate? Yes, I think so. No, it does have like uh, another name actually. I just like forgot it for now. Uh, it's called the hot chocolate, but also they have like a, uh, it's just Americans. They have a specific uh, name for it. And I just can't remember it now. 
if uh, there is any American with us, they can tell me. But I'm sure, like, like we don't have the Americans with us today. <laughs> yes. Hlib bishklat. Hlib bishklat. Hlib bishklat. Hlib bishklat. Okay. Hlib bishklat. Hlib schoon. Atay schoon. Kawa schoona. Atay atay bilwiza. Or bread atay bilwiza. Bread atay binana. Bread atay binana. Okay. So let's do just a little practice, dialogue practice, and then we can finish the live. Okay. But try to practice with me. Practice out loud so that you can hear yourself and so that you can practice sentences and uh, see them correctly and hear yourself if you are like pronouncing them correctly. So as usual, I'm going to be the the waitress. So my baby con, al khatal. No, I'm not from Algeria. I'm Moroccan. I'm from Morocco. And of course, this is Darija. It's like Algeria, Algeria, different like kind of language. So similar in some words, but not all of them. I'm from Morocco. And I'm Maghribiya Miafimia. I'm Moroccan 100%. Maghribiya Miafimia. Okay? Ashhab al Khatar. Al Khatar. For people who were us, with us from the beginning, so Ashhab al Khatar. Aha, Atini Hlib Shkla, Hlib Shkla. I'm going to ask. To try to assume that I'm writing down, so let's make it like as like um, yes, wacha wacha lella a table visa. Biskaro la blaskar. Lella bhiti biskaro la blaskar. Do you want it with sugar or without sugar? Yeah, you already were at blaskar. Aha, wacha lella wacha. Okay. Uh, Shiva, Briti, Hlibschklat, Wahasidi, Huya, Briti, Hlibschklat, Bska, Ulla Blaskat. Sidi, I think. Yes, Briti, Hlibschklat, Bska, Ulla Blaskat. Bilal Aro, in, I don't understand what that is. Zafit Bilbil? What is that? I, I told you, like, Algerian is not the same as Moroccan, so it's like, uh, I know what Lbin is, but I don't know Zafit. I have no idea. Wahasidib Skar, uh huh. So, La La Briti Atay Bilwiza Blaskar, Wintasidi Briti. يا بغيتي الحليب بالشوكولات بالسكر واخا واخا سيدي حليب بالسكر صافي سو so, صافي اس مين ذات سيت اف دي سيت صافي صافي ذات سول Wahab <laughs> Bilal, I I have I did I had no idea what like the first word was, but yeah. Uh huh. Waha Waha Sid. Okay. What is the others? You're not going to practice. Kastilma, Waha Sid. Aha. Bilal, Bilal, this is Darija. We say Safi, and this is how we're writing. I know it's like from French. Yes, I know it's French. We have a lot of words from French, but we don't write it the same as in French. Unless if I'm speaking French to them. So I'm like teaching Darija, and we all Moroccans, we write Safi as I wrote it. And I know it's from French. Yes, but it's not the same as in Algeria or whatever, like other country. 
I know it's from French. And also like for Sava, uh, we write it like this. And uh, a lot of different things is like from French, 100%. Because Darija, for everyone who doesn't know that, Darija is a mix of French, Spanish, and from a lot of words from Tamazet, a little bit from Standard Arabic, and is like mixed all over together. And now it's like mixing with more words from, um, uh, it's like from like um, English also. So it's like always like we take some words from different language and we make it Moroccan. Yes, Sam, that's correct. Okay, Wahasidi, Marhiba. Safia Sidi. Uh, hack. Hack is like here is the like welcome. Safi, that's that's all. That's all. All of you. This is what you you going to drink. No. Uh, Bilal, where are you from? I'm just curious. <laughs> Yes, so I, this is what I said. Uh, yeah, good guys for uh, practicing. This is like it was like just a good. Um... Marhaba. <laughs> so when we finish, ah, oh, yeah, you're from Algeria. This is why I told you. So it's not the same. I actually don't understand a lot. I watch some. I tried, not I watch. I watched some movies from um, Algerian, I tried to, but I couldn't understand much. And I know, like, I tried to notice if there is similar words, but actually it's not. It's not as Tunisian, it's not as Algerian, it's not same as Moroccan, it's different. It's totally different, there are just like some words. So we use a lot of French, not a lot actually, it's like some French, but it's not writing same as in French, you see? And the Algerian are like very good with their French more than Moroccans. I, I met some uh, guys before, uh, maybe two years, and their French is perfect. Like literally, is perfect. Like a Moroccan is not that good with French. You say you know. Some of them, no, but not all of them. Yes, Brigitte, Kasdim Afek, Wahalala, Marhaba, Marhaba Bikom. Yes, so when you make your order in the end, you, uh, like the waiter, they would, he would come. Lugat Algerian Mkhtelfa. Like you want to say like different? Mkhtelfa is different. Yes, Mkhtalfa um, Bzaf is very, 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 very different. Algerian is like even the same Maghrib Arabi, like uh, like American region. But yes, uh, Darija, Moroccan Darija is very different. It's not the same as all, especially like with Tunisian, some people say it's the same, that they don't know the good language. I try to watch some of the different movies from different countries. And it definitely is not, it's not the same. So yeah, when we finish all of that, when we finish like the order, I, um, I didn't do the juices and you know, the drinks, the other drinks, because I have to finish the live. Uh, it's already more than one hour. So when you want to, to ask for the bills, like how much, how, how much is the, to the total, you would say, for example, if he's like passing by, you would, he would say, Khuya Afak. And he would come, Khoya Afek, like brother, please. I mean, like, come, we do the hand movement like this. Khoya <laughs> Afek, and he would come, and then he would tell him, Atini Lhsab, which means give me the bed. Atini Lhsab Afek. Or just like Lhsab Afek. This means the bells, please. 
Or you would say shahal andi is like how much I owe. Yeah, I uh, I want to like I can like teach for two hours, three hours, four hours. It's very, uh, it's very okay for me. It's like I'm I'm okay with teaching like long hours, but I have to prepare for tomorrow's classes with my uh, online one-on-one -on -one online students, and um, so I have to sleep early to wake up early. But I think I might. Be like uh, live tomorrow morning. I'm not sure, uh, but if you can wake up early, let me know, and I would wake up early too, <laughs> earlier than I should be. Yes, I'm a night owl. I'm trying to be an early bird. Yes, um, if you have any question, I'm here. Thank you, thank you, Morocco man. It's very sweet of you to say that. Yes, for people who are interested on one-on-one -on -one, uh, online classes, I am uh, offering that. Yes, um, um, the classes are, are the lessons are available. Available if you are interested in one-on-one -on -one online classes, you can contact me from my Gmail, and that will give you all the information needed. And don't hesitate to ask me anything. So I'm going to leave my Gmail over here. And if anyone interested in one-on-one -on -one online lesson, don't hesitate to ask me about more information and how I'm teaching and all of that. And yeah. I do have a lot of good things coming in future. I can't wait to do all the things. Jeep is like bring, so you would just like Gina, just like Gina. Gina from here or as Gina from here. We normally we just like say Khuya Afak and we do that. <laughs> we say Khuya Afak just like to uh, get their attention. So that he can look at us and then say, like, I think he would know. It's just like if he said the Koya attack, he would come knowing either like you want extra drink or you want like, uh, you know, the total, the, the best, yes. Yes, Alison, you're very really welcome. Guys, if you have any questions before I go, uh, please don't hesitate. Questions are very important. If you didn't understand something, you can ask me. If you found any word hard in pronunciation, uh, you, of course, you can ask me. Uh, this is why I'm here. And, of course, I'm going to be live tomorrow night also to finish the lesson and maybe do extra things with the um, in restaurants, with the food and all of that. Okay, no one have a question? Any questions? Yes? Yes, ka is difficult. I um I did like a whole live, like uh, like I literally like one more than one hour. Uh, is uh, lesson number one, like uh, in the coffee talk, and I explained all like uh the consonants that English speakers, other like languages speakers that don't have these sounds, and I explained with uh, it what it is and how it's pronounced and. Uh, uh, how to get that sent. Of course, it takes a little bit of time. 
and it's not hard is like because you don't uh, some of other language speakers they don't use true sounds and qa is very true sound and uh, you just like for others like they need like to understand their uh, muscles how they are move and how they are vibrate it's if it's vibrated or not how to breathe while doing it where to put their uh, thumb to practice it uh, it takes a little bit of time, but you can do it, of course. Like, everyone can do it. We have, like, the same muscles, the same body. It's just, like, it's, like, a new thing that, that you don't do. <laughs> yes. Yes. It's ka 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 sound. Ka ka. It's like if you notice, it's like very sharp and it's come from the throat. Ka, 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 ka. You see, this is like moving. Ka, 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 ka. It's like going and you can see movements over here. And uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, Morocco man, are you the one that I'm taking, that you're taking to me on my. Uh, Facebook page, I'm getting confused sometimes with like uh, the the names. Like uh, I don't remember faces as uh, not as much as uh, names. Are important in question. Yeah, of course we're going to do that inshallah in future. Yes. But I thought that you are Moroccan. I thought that you already speak in there, you don't know. I thought the opposite, you wanted to learn English, no? <laughs> I'm just like confused a little bit. Yeah, of course, we're going to like step by step doing the verbs and practice them in sentences and questions. Of course, the verbs is always important in any language as much as uh, com like communication is, um, is important, language is also important. Yes, of course, Sam, I also have to go and uh, take care. And all of you, I actually have to go. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see. Yeah, of course, yeah. Inshallah, we will do that. Yes. Okay, guys, thank you for being here. It was good to see you in the comment section. It was good, like, uh, teaching you. And I see you tomorrow, inshallah. And subhanahu khair. Good night. Shukran, Bashir. Tahallah, Farasik, Hattanta. And then, shukran, Bye-bye.